What's up, guys? I hope you missed us, because we missed you. Yeah, we took a week off, but for a good reason. Last week, we were hard at work, creating more content for you guys. And even though this is going to be one of our last episodes of the semester, <laughs> know that we will continue to bring you great content in the new year. Finals are around the corner. Did you know that you can exempt one, two, or even three of them? What? Tell me more. Only seniors could do that at my old school. Ah, oh, man. Jai <laughs> has all the details. Hey, my name is Jai, and I'm back with my eye on the finals and exemptions. I know, I know, it's never fun to talk about finals or studying, but I got some really important information for you. So listen, you don't want your own teachers, even your own parents, to be disappointed in you for failing, right? Nah, we don't fail around here. We put in this work and we make sure we get the grade we want, right? Right? Now, if you've been putting in the work like I said, there is a way for you to avoid finals altogether. We call them exemptions. That's right, you can cut your finals altogether if you meet these requirements. So, what you'll see here is the grades you have to make depending on your absences. Basically, the higher your absences are, the higher the grade you have to make each class. Even three TARDIS can count as one absence. So be in class in time. Even if your conduct has a U or an N, you cannot exempt any class you want. Now, there is a certain amount of exemptions for each grade level. Freshman has one exemption, sophomore has two exemptions, and lastly, juniors has three exemptions. Be sure to choose your classes very wisely. You can't exempt the same class twice. Know what to exempt first and know what to exempt last. That's all for me. See ya. Just remember, if you want to exempt this semester, you have to take it next semester. Did you go to any of the varsity football games this year? <laughs> Let's take a look at a recap of their first varsity season. Panthers, if you're interested in being part of the 2019 football program, you will need to meet with Coach Gott before December 12th. Remember, Friday is the last day to bring your donations for the Toys for Tots collection bins. They're at the front entrance to the school, in the hub, and in the athletic hallway. Please consider donating new toys, children's books, and new clothing items. Let's make a positive impact in a young person's life this holiday season. Attention dog owners, if you think your dog has what it takes to get its picture on the Dog Gone Good Dog Biscuits label for Pato's Paws of the Year, then you need to enter now. There will be three categories, small breed, medium breed, and large breed. There's also a $2 entry fee, and if you want to enter three dogs, it's $5. The winning dog's photo and name will be placed on the Dog Gone Good Dog Biscuits label with their owner's name, have bragging rights for this school year, and win an awesome prize package. Faculty members, you will have your own category to enter. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Myron in the library during the second half of Power Hour or look for her with the coffee cart. When a break is coming up, it's time to rest, recharge, spend time with family, and a part of that can be spent playing the newest video games. Check out what is hot. Hey, your boy's back with some more favorite gaming network. Let's look at what's up with gaming the past two weeks. Hyped up but underrated, Smash Bros. Ultimate is an upcoming crossover fighting game published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. It is the fifth installment in the Smash Bros. series, coming out December 7th this year. For more retro style gamers, Undertale designer Toby Fox released a free new game called Delta Room. The current version is technically a demo with it currently having only one chapter. Toby announced on Twitter that he plans to build a T 
achieve the finish delta rule because it, because just finishing the demo took him a few years but he hasn't hired anyone yet so it's gonna be a while for this episode's final game we have doom eternal an upcoming action campaign video game by Bethesda Softworks. The game is set to be released for Microsoft Windows and consoles. It is the fifth main title in the Doom series and is a sequel to the 2016 reboot coming out 2019. That's it for Pedro Gaming Network. I'm your boy Tristan, signing off. We want to take a moment to recognize all of our hardworking FFA members that competed on leadership development teams that focus on public speaking and leadership skills. Our members made history advancing to the area round and we're so proud. <laughs> Remember, Class of 2021 shirts are on sale until this Friday. Go to Mr. Hill's office, room 1061, to pick up an order form. $15 for short sleeve and $20 for long sleeve. Have you ever wondered what coding is all about? Do you want to try your hand at coding? Stop by the library today during power hour for hour of code and test your skill. Everyone is welcome. If you can't make it to the library, we've got you covered with a Canvas course. So sign into Canvas and look for the KDIC Hour of Code in your courses. Panthers, this Thursday we have a special holiday show for you. Recorded on location here in the studio. <laughs> See you Thursday. <laughs> Bye. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Matt Hatter from the Matt Hatter Morning Show 97.9 The Box. Salute to everybody at Peyto's Peyto Panther TV going down right now. Hey. <laughs>